once you get it in your blood, it's hard to it's hard to not be around horses. My father trained horses on and off. As small as I can remember, we always had horses, and we would go to racetracks and the New Mexico State Fair and Sunland Park and Ridoso, and we just always around horses. So I pretty much had my mind made up when I graduated high school that I was going to train horses. I wouldn't change anything. I'm I'm pretty lucky that I've got good clients and some pretty decent horses to that people let me train them, so that's pretty cool. Well, I started training in 1990, and I mostly raced in New Mexico, and me and my family moved here. We've been here four years, and we really, we like Remington Park, we enjoy it. It's a nice facility, the grass course. We got some Oklahoma breads now, and we're, we're I think we got a pretty good stable for the for this season. This one right here in the first stall is named Dipping In, and I got another one right next to her named Country Daisy. They're, they're both pretty nice Oklahoma bred mares and they've they've both done well for me. I've got a pretty good crew and I, I couldn't do it without them. They, they put in a lot of time and they helped me a lot. There are a lot of early day early mornings and late nights but when you win some races it's all it doesn't really bother you. It's pretty it's easy to get up when you're when you're doing good. Your horses are running good for you it's pretty easy to get up. When I, I quit getting butterflies and when they go to the gate I'm gonna quit doing it because You've lost something that you did the reason you do it. So I think everybody, every trainer out here and jockey, they get a little bit nervous. They say they don't, but they, they it's just the adrenaline, you can't help it.